Good morning. I'm Matt Stevens. I buy old records. Well, I'm flying along here at early 30 in the morning. Going to head out of my area and just go look for records. Check some places I check sometimes and uh, hopefully just find some unknown new charted territory. Hopefully turn up something worthwhile. I've got no uh, definite leads today, but I do need to get out of the house and get out and around. Masked up hand cleanered up, or sanitized up, I don't know. Anyway, let's just go and have fun. Oh yeah. All right, sun's up. It's a beautiful day today. Hopefully it won't be so damn hot. Been hot lately. Woo! Just gonna do my normal looking around and such. I'm going through withdrawal. I haven't made any additions really to my Sun record collection in a while. And I need to make some additions, either upgrades or missing numbers. I only need three numbers to have a 45 or 78 of uh, the entire run of the single releases they did. Johnny London, 175, that's a 78. That's the first Sun record. Number 177, Handy Jackson, 78. 190, Ripley Cotton Choppers, a 78. Uh, if any of y'all have that or know of one for sale, there is a guy that has a couple, but he's asking astronomical prices that are far in excess of what they're worth. And it's no fun just going up to the guy and paying double or triple market value and getting them all at once. I think he has one or two of them that I need. That's no fun. I'd rather find it out in a garage sale in lesser shape, but for a quarter. I'm that way. So, I chased a rabbit there. Let's go chase some records. All right, first stop of the day is a book record store. Drop my stuff out the car. Drop my glasses under the car. Let's get under here and find them. Okay, there they are. I do things like that quite often. Okay, let's go on in and see what I can find. They've got a really nice restroom there that I always use whenever I come to this fine town. Okay, they don't open till 10 now. Used to be nine. I'll find some other real nice restroom somewhere. You know, after three hours of driving and a bunch of coffee. Well, let's don't get too graphic. Rare label, nothing good though. That was a pop record. Well, I don't look at a lot of LPs. This is a marvelous one, Sterling Blythe. He was King Sterling on Star Day. And wow, he had some great stuff. Beautiful, marvelous, wonderful things and it's scratched beyond use. So I'm gonna keep looking. So there's a few records you'll see all the time. I mean, all the time. Oh, there's nobody in here right now. I've got the place to myself, pretty much. And one of those, of course, is Bill Justice Raunchy. You see that everywhere you go, multiple times a day. Man, I wish I made royalties off that. Then there's two other records that people, when they first start out, think are great. This is one. Guy Mitchell, Rockabilly. No, no it ain't. And then there's Norma Jean, I think she was on Dot, maybe. Go Cat Go. You get those when you're first starting out looking for stuff like that. You play it, you're like, wow. And then you're like, what did I just do? I hurt my ears. Oh my. Either bad pop or really slow country. So anyway, look out for those pitfalls. You'll run across them sometimes. You'll get a great record, run it home if you don't have your player, play it, 
And then you're like, kill me now. Well, too much fun. I've got to go through a big stack here. And uh, I found uh, the Elmore James, which I like. It's not in the best shape, but if it plays good, I'm more than happy. Now, Bobby Hendrix. I like him. I've met him a few times, played with him. He's a really good guy. He and his wife are just treasures. More music in the background, but all the life music. But I like the music I like. Ain't that funny that way? Old box of Sun Records. But it's all Jerry Lee, Johnny Cash. It'd be cool if there's one in there that shocks me. Nope. But that's all right. Okay, let's we'll show off some of the stuff I found. Red Wax Honky Tonk by Helen Mack. No relation to me. Really good honky tonk. It's probably my favorite out of the group. Elmore James, Long Tall Woman, Wild About You. Wynoni Harris, Night Train, decent shape. Uh, a couple of Johnny Jackson Soul Records. They just look good. Little Gary and the Panthers. This is out of Dallas. It's a Kid soul record, but it's pretty cool. And this one is Moon Mullican, gorgeous shape, extended play, and I think I've got the cover at the house. It's good to have the cover. And then another soul records, Al Perkins and Betty Bibbs. And kind of a soul thing by Felice Taylor on Kent. Rockabilly, that's just what I'll do with with a great guitar by, by uh, Grady Martin, Johnny Bond there. This is just a weird San Antonio thing from probably the early 70s. It says 71. Pearl Records. It's a single-sided advertising record, but it's got a soul version of one of the songs, and it's done real well. Flatfoot Sam, nice rock and blues. And then these, I never find these in good shape. This is gorgeous. Johnny Cash, now there was a song. That is one of my favorite Johnny Cash albums. Because Cash came out, he was the... Uh, anti Nashville pretty much since he only had Luther and Marshall in the beginning no steel guitar fiddles when he went to Columbia for one session they put him up with steel guitar and fiddles and it sounded perfect then two box sets of Hank Williams 45s these are hard to find and John knows that and charged me appropriately I've got to fix the boxes up a bit this one's missing one of the records maybe I have it maybe I don't we're going to go look further for more records Otherwise, sit here and talk about them. I'll run out of looking time. Okay, I've reached the next place. It's a uh, record store. I don't know if I featured it here yet. It's a good place. Three Dash Hounds up here in beautiful Oklahoma. So we're going to go in and see what we can find. All right, so here I am in the bathroom looking at records. Lots of records. I bought records in bathrooms before. Well, I found them there. Well, Clyde Stacy, Oklahoma artist. Died in the car wreck a few years ago. Well, all right. I came out of there with some decent records. It was good. I was glad with what I paid. Really nice folks there. This is a rockabilly thing called uh, Get Ready Baby by Dudley Calicut. They just turn up all the time, but I've never found it in the wilds. Steve Tyrell, this is a uh, test press of some sort. Young Boy Blues. It's a Phil Spector thing. I don't know. This is a good instrumental rocking thing by the Demotrons. This is just one weird, cool uh, Nashville record by Don Bailey. That's old man Bailey's boy. Here's my favorite of the group thus far. Granny Went Rockin' by Jimmy Lester. It has one very notable scratch in it. But shoot, it plays great. Now that's a tough one. I like that record. And then this is Spark Plug by the 14s. The other side is just uh, scribbled out. Plays great. And, and, remember the 45 set I got earlier on Hank Williams? I got the 78 set. 
That's kind of neat. Ah, let's go look some more. I'm gonna buy something to drink real quick. Well, let's go through El Reno, Oklahoma, home of the big hole in the ground. Yep, that's what they're known for here. I don't normally head out this way, so today I'm taking the opportunity to go out and look and peck around and see what I can scratch up. Uh, I'll go north first, and then I'll double back around to this side. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's see what's around here in downtown El Reno. All righty. All righty. Well, all right. That was fun. Yeah, it's been forever since I've been to this place. Uh-huh. And I guess that's probably just about it. Okay, so I've done the points of the compass here. Saw a couple of places that were closed or temporarily closed. That's cool. I think I'll stick a fork in this town. I think it's done. But we're going to head out south and go to another few towns. About the time I run out of those towns, I'll run out of time. Looks like maybe this sprawling downtown might yield something, at least a place to stop. Petals and pine cones, vintage finds. No, I don't think so. Let them go by. Ah. I'm not seeing anything yet. We'll go to the one end of this place and see what else we can find. Lost some time shops. There's two florists on one block in a town of about 500 people. Huh. Guess they know what they're doing. I reached Chickasha. We're going to check out this town. One time I found an Elvis Sun 45 here in a box of records, so. I'm gonna get out, check it out, but I ain't doing without. No, 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 no. Okay, no love for me there. Mm. I don't sweat that. That don't confront me none. Okay, the old classic antique mall here that was a couple of floors of lots of stuff and lots of records is long gone. Darn it. Still don't confront me none. Now, there's a place right there. I don't know what that is. No, no. That's a clothing place. I don't believe in clothing. Well, I mean, I don't care much about it, as you can tell. Uh-oh, it says flea market, but guess what? I don't think it's open. I'm going to go check. Oh, well, the 78s they had turned out to be LPs. But I'll do a quick flip, make sure there's no 45s hiding in there. but I think it's too much of a risk. All right, last chance at finding something. A little town called Lindsay. Where did Lindsay's husband find out I'm around? But let's go in and just look around. Okay, LPs. Of course. Not Covani. All sorts of great stuff, huh? Okay. Use the 
Oof, still a storm. Still my beating heart. That was promising, but no, but it's on my place, uh, list of places to check again, and I will. Well, I guess that's it right now for the day. It's almost six o'clock. Everything's closed down. It's bright sunshiny, but I don't know if I opened up a business. I'd keep it open till the sun went down. Unless I was running one of those kind of businesses, then I'd be open 24 seven. Try to make that money, stack that paper. So I guess that's it for me. I just got a snack. You keep doing what you do well. I'm going to try to stumble on my way. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you.